Tysimit was founded in 1977 and the company is one of the largest automotive parts manufacturer in Thailand with the target uh, to become the most preferred auto parts supplier in uh, Southeast Asia. The company has manufacturing facility in China, India, Indonesia, Japan, US and Vietnam with over 20,000 employees and 2 billion combined revenue from its wholly owned and joint ventures. The Howe Michigan facility currently occupies 1.2 million square feet of manufacturing space on 150-acre site with over 775 non-union employees. Our second facility in Barstow, Kentucky was established in 2016 on an 82-acre acre site with production equipment in mailing the how facility capabilities. The products are large Class A stampings and assemblies and structural components of steel and aluminum for all the new vehicles that are hitting the marketplace from the improved F-150, uh, the Bronco, which uh, we're really excited about here at Thai Summit, the new Ranger back on the market, Jeep, Chrysler Pacifica, Shelby Hood, and Raptor Boxide, just to name a few. Our customers are primarily Ford Motor Company, FCA, General Motors, and Volvo. Here at Thai Summit, we use the latest technology in welding and assembly to bring value to our customers and sustain our continuous growth. We've won the GM Excellence Award two years in a row now, and we're the first company in the industry to introduce remote laser welding into our production process. In, in my career, I was probably one of the uh, first uh, customers um, working with uh, Coors Engineering and the team on a um, really exciting project down in Mexico. Here, um, that was 14 years ago, and to see the product grow over the years has been really amazing and wonderful. Uh, here at Thai Summit, uh, they got involved in a project with uh, Coors Engineering Mach 2 about two years ago but we're having some difficulty really launching it across their production facilities. So we took a look at everything uh, fresh and anew in uh, January of this year, and a month later we brought up the entire facility here um, uh, and a, a facility that we have down in Bardstown, Kentucky as well. And uh, just haven't looked back, it's been an exciting project. I would say that once we got through the core implementation and we really started to look at the product and analyze uh, how we were actually performing, uh, we started to see that we could improve on some things on some other aspects of the business. One of the main things being our standard rates, our production values, we said, well, we're not, this is impossible, our values are either too low or too high. And so we really took a deep dive into it and started looking at that and now it's changed how Thai Summit looks at it. And now this product has become such an integral part of the business that everybody's in our production office is using it every single day. So it's really just been a huge jump for Thai Summit and going from no visibility to full visibility on the floor and even automating some processes such as late. Before the Mach 2 implementation, we struggled with the data reliability we captured on machine efficiency. After the implementation of Mach 2 along with Plex, we have increased the ability to identify, prioritize issues that were related to our equipment and processes. We can now rely on the information we receive directly from the PLCs, and this greatly reduces the amount of erroneous data that's produced by the human element. Our customers are able to see the current status of our operator and machine efficiencies, uh, and those are displayed at every line, real time, and that certainly instills a confidence uh, in them knowing that we're able to gather that real-time uh, data that we need to identify manufacturing bottlenecks or machine issues that could potentially lead to disruptions at their manufacturing sites. When we installed Mach 2, we also installed monitors at the end of each work center to show the OEE for each work center. Uh, included on the screen was a suggestion system to help us increase our efficiencies. Uh, within 10 minutes, actually, of of turning on the system, we had a suggestion from employees on how to make our jobs run faster. So now everyone can see uh, how fast our jobs are running and everyone is helping us to make them run faster. 
So when we uh, installed Mach 2, we also utilized uh, automatic downtime counters. So now when a work center is down for a certain amount of time, it automatically requires a downtime reason to be entered into the system so that we can track down efficient inefficiencies. Uh, in the old system, it was much more susceptible to uh, downtime codes and inaccurate reporting, uh, and it's difficult to address a root cause when the reporting is faulty. So uh, with everyone's help now, we've been able to use the data from Mach 2 to track down and address uh, inefficiencies throughout the plant. Uh, in March of this year, we set baselines for our work centers and in April when we launched Mach 2 and the suggestion system along with the automatic downtime counters, in, in six months we've increased our cycle times to the tune of about five million dollars. Uh, Mach 2 is now an integral part of our daily business. Uh, so when new machinery is brought into the f uh, facility, it's part of our internal setup to configure the machine to speak with Mach 2. Uh, so by completing this integration process, we're allowing our systems now to talk from the machine to Mach 2 to Plex. And uh, our, our customers are becoming much more stringent uh, with our weld procedures and, and they've got a lot more requirements placed on us. So Mach 2 is allowing us to send all of our weld fault codes from the controllers to a downtime report within Plex, which we can then use to generate reports required by our customers. With several new contracts awarded by Ford and Chrysler, Thai Summit is working on a 55,000 square foot expansion to add to our existing 1.1 million square foot facility. The expansion will accommodate the addition of a fifth 1,200 ton transfer press late this year, as well as numerous additional assembly lines. All of the new workstations will be integrated with Mach 2 dashboards and Plex control panels. Thai Summit is looking forward to successfully launching new programs with the support and continuous integration of Mach 2. Live reporting allows us to proactively work together from the shop floor to the top floor to address tooling, quality, maintenance, and downtime concerns. The ability to diagnose and validate these issues accurately will help streamline pre-launch and PPAP activities. With the integration of Mach 2 and Plex for all new programs, Thai Summit will continue to provide world-class quality, efficiency, and sustainable manufacturing processes for our customers.